If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In last video, we have seen how we can leverage MITM proxy to record, replay, modify and intercept the network calls. In this video, we are going to leverage MITM web to capture and replay and modify and intercept the HTTP requests from the browser. To launch MITM web, just type MITM web and hit enter. This will launch MITM web at the port 8081 by default and it starts the proxy at 8080. Once it is successfully started, it will launch automatically using your uh, default browser. And then you can see the user interface of MITM web. Before you start begin recording, you have to install the relevant certificates. To install the relevant certificates, you can click on this MITM proxy menu and click on install certificates. Also, you can uh, edit some of the default options by clicking on the options and edit options. This particular option is under uh, alpha stage. So some of the configurations might not work and uh, you can uh, explore by yourself to how you can uh, customize the user interface. So here, this is the main uh, IDE which will be working. So here it will display all the flows and you can intercept the request. You can search for the request and also you can highlight it. And at the bottom right, you can see the proxy, the port number and also the version. So now let us uh, capture the network calls by recording the pet store. And before that, uh, let us uh, install the certificates. To install the certificates, click on the MITM proxy menu and click on install certificates. Once you click, it will display this MITM.IT. So basically now we are getting some error because the traffic is not passing through MITM proxy. Because MITM web is running at the WSL, but we are making use of the browser in my windows. So we have to configure the proxy in your Windows settings. To configure the proxy, just to launch uh, settings and search for proxy. And select proxy settings. And at the bottom, under manual proxy setup, just uh, toggle this on and configure localhost 8080 and click on save. Now go back to your browser and refresh this MITM.IT. Now you can see the detailed instructions, how you can install the certificate for each operating system. For Windows, click on show instructions and follow this instructions to install the certificate. I have already installed the certificate. Now let us capture the network calls in MITM web. Let me close this uh, window. And uh, as you see, the MITM proxy already started capturing the traffic. Now let me uh, launch a new tab and hit uh, petstore.octoperf.com. And I'm going to bring these two windows together so that you can see. In the right side, we have pet store and in the left side, we have MITM proxy. Now I'm going into the store and when I click on enter the store, you can see the relevant traffic. And also it is capturing uh, the other traffics from my uh, network. But let us continue recording. So right now uh, I am in a fish page and as you see, a lot of requests has been captured. So this is kind of annoying for us because we don't want to capture this uh, ever helper or uh, content uh, autofill Google API calls. So these are all things uh, we don't want. So we have to tell explicitly MITM proxy whether you want to uh, exclude uh, this call or you want to include this call. You have to specify only one option, whether you want to allow the traffic or deny the traffic. You cannot mention both. So to Configure the uh, allow host or deny host. You can click on this edit options and you can configure here. But somehow this option is not working for me. So what I'm going to do is we are going to leverage the command line option. So I'm going to close this and I'm going back to my uh, terminal and I'm going to terminate by pressing control C. So now MITM web has been stopped and I'm going to uh, start the MITM web again using the allow hosts uh, tag and in single quotes I'm going to enter pet store uh, dot octoperf dot com so we have to escape this dot using the slash and now I'm going to hit enter so now this will allow only the pet store dot octoperf dot com traffic 
rest of the traffic will be ignored by MITM uh, web. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the older window and I'm going to bring these two together so that we can see the traffic and I'm going to the home page. So as you see, when I click on the home page, it is capturing, but rest of the calls, it is not getting captured. Now I'm going to click on fish and I'm going to click on the product ID. So this is how you allow the particular traffic and you'll be able to capture your network calls in MITM proxy in the web mode. Now let us uh, intercept the traffic. So as you know, the intercept needs the regular expression. So I'm going to intercept the traffic uh, using the uh, tilde u. So if you just uh, click on the intercept text box and if you just uh, scroll down, you can see the tilde u. And here I'm going to enter a slash action and I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to home page of pet store. As you see, the network traffic has been intercepted. So it has been paused here. So now I can uh, click on this and now I can edit this particular uh, request or I can resume the uh, traffic. So I have to click on resume couple times so that it will uh, go to the next uh, page. So now we are going to click on uh, fish and again the traffic has been intercepted and I'm going to change this uh, traffic from fish to dog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just adjust this and I'm going to click on this uh, edit flow and in the category ID instead of fish I'm going to enter dogs and I'm going to click on this uh, tick mark and I'm going to resume this particular request by clicking on this uh, resume button. So now if you click on this particular uh, request you can, you can see the dogs request has been sent and also in the left side you can see the dogs product. So this is how you intercept the traffic using the regex and you modify the traffic and then you can send the traffic by clicking on this resume button. So to save your particular uh, flows you can click on this uh, MITM proxy and you can click on save and also if you want to delete you can delete if you want to replay the particular request you can replay if you want to duplicate you can duplicate so all the options are available in the user interface also you can uh, display the event log so if you go to options and click on display event log it will display the event log for your MITM proxy so right now i am not sure why it is not displaying so let me uh, refresh this screen and here you can see the event log at the bottom of the screen and here you can uh, configure the options uh, like debug info web warning and error and also you can highlight the certain pattern in your uh, traffic so to highlight the uh, traffic uh, just uh, select this highlight and go to the re regular expression for the url and you can just uh, type uh, uh, fish so here you can see it is highlighting all the uh, url which has the keyword uh, fish so this is how you highlight you intercept modify capture and replay the HTTP traffic in MATM web. So that's it guys on my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.